Well, I, I thought that was very good. I'll give 20 points each there. And so we now go on to the other pair, John and Rory. Uh, can you step forward uh, for your scene in a minute? And a few more suggestions of theatre and film. Dramatics. Amateur dramatics. I think we, we get a lot of that as it is, but... Uh, Spaghetti Western. So, Brazilian soap yeah. opera. <laughs> what? So, are you on, are you on any particular med medication or something for you? Okay. <laughs> Travelogue. Oh, what a... Rogers and Hammerstein, okay. Porn film, yeah. Um, Noel Card, yes. That's a good one. What about a porn film? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're too quick. I'm making no good in a porn film. Now, let's, um, <laughs> let's get going on that then. And your, your style, I've got to give you something to do. What is it? Uh, yes, the, uh, impro the scene we'd like you to improvise is the, a used car salesman. So you on see, you go, and I'll give you, I'll give you a style to get into once we get going. You see, you think you're looking at a Riley or a Bentley, but actually you're looking at the car in which Dracula, Elizabeth I and Harold I of England drove. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, like, I like the wooden bits, and I thought that maybe... You know... All right, go into amateur dramaticals, please. What's going on here? Oh, oh, oh. This car, this car is mine! This car is mine, not yours! <laughs> you want it? Because I bought it yesterday. Because I bought it yesterday when you brought it in here. No, you didn't! <laughs> yes, you did! You did! <laughs> you did, you know? Yeah. No, as sure as I'm looking at you, you, you. On, I'm... Can we that... now go into Brazil? Can you listen to the buzz? It's, uh, can we go into Brazilian soap opera? I know what it means, but uh... you're talking a load of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> you must have realised that this car is a complete load of rubbish. You call this modern? You're an old slow coach. That's what you are. <laughs> I'll take it anyway. <laughs> 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 and why don't you finish on doing a null card? It's ridiculously, precisely, beautifully, absolutely, and appositely the motor car that you want. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Has it got ashtrays? It is ashtrays everywhere. It is absolutely regulated with old and out-of-date cigarettes that might be dashed and flashed into the dash. Then why don't you use the bloody ashtrays instead of leaving ash on my carpet? Why am I talking like this? Because I'm a, <laughs> because I'm a 1920s old whoopsie and I can do what I like. Thank you very much. End on that. Thank you. Uh, well, I would say 50 points each there for Rory and John. And we now go into the next game, which is called The World's Worst. And this should be a quick fire round. If you'd like to come forward and stand on the world's worst step. And uh, the idea of this is the contestants just step forward when they think of an idea, as many as they can think of in quick succession, coming forward to be the world's worst person to comfort somebody on their deathbed. <laughs> so, a lot, lot of points are going to stake on this round. And on you go. Yes. Um, hello, I, I, I'm Desmond Wilcox. We're filming a documentary <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> well, Mr. Sampson, um... Of course, you only have 20 hours to live. Listen, we'd like to ask a favor. Some of the interns need some experience in giving an enema. Would you mind if we... <laughs> Uncle Jack, it's Tommy. I come all the way from California. I'm hitching around Europe. Is it okay when you're dead if I can sleep in your bed? Because there's no to sleep around here. <laughs> okay? Well, look on the bright side, Terry. <laughs> I mean, at least you won't have to watch England in the next bleeding World Cup, will you? Well, there's uh, good news and there's bad news. Uh, the bad news is you only have six hours to live. The good news is, though, you won the Irish sweepstakes, $23 million. <laughs> you ticklish. You ticklish, aren't you? I'll bet you are. <laughs> David Johnson, BBC News. How does it feel to be dying? <laughs> you haven't seen Star Wars? Oh, well. Ben Kenobi um, arrives back on the planet <laughs> and... Um... I bet you feel stupid being a bloody atheist now, don't you, eh? <laughs> that it? Any more? Oh, I... oh, you know what? One more song before you die. <laughs> <laughs> 
I met a girl <laughs> who sang in a song that had 95 verses to go. Look, Dad, I know with, you know, male chauvinism and all that, and how men aren't supposed to be able to express themselves emotionally. Well, I just want to tell you that I, th I think you're a son of a bitch. You took every chance I had away. I don't know. Oh, yes, thank you. So don't forget, you ever need life insurance? Here's the card. <laughs> I think. Hey, you look terrible. <laughs> I think... Well... I think that's a, a good enough note to end on for the moment. We stop, stop improvising for now while we go away and some premeditated advertising takes place. We're back in a moment. Goodbye. Oh